In this problem, we're going to expand this as much as possible. So we'll start by using the quotient rule for logs. The quotient rule says when you have a fraction, it turns into subtraction. So it's the log of the top piece. So log base 3 of 4p. And then minus the log of the bottom piece. So log base 3 of q. So again, if you have a fraction, it turns into subtraction, just like that. So take the top piece, subtract, and then do the bottom piece. And then this is times. So whenever you have multiplication, it turns into addition. So this will become log base 3 of 4 plus log base 3 of p. And then you still have this one here, minus log base 3 of q. So just a quick recap. So you first start by using the quotient rule, which says that whenever you have a fraction, it turns into subtraction. So it's log of the top piece minus log of the bottom piece. And then we're using the product rule here. That basically says when you have times, it turns into plus. So it's log of the first factor plus log of the second factor. And this piece here just hangs out. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.